Welcome to Infield Observations. This is Wayne Onasor, Nebraska Extension Educator with Madison, Pierce, Antelope, and Stanton Counties. Today we're going to take a look at scouting your alfalfa for alfalfa weevils. To determine the need to scout for alfalfa weevils, we'll begin by sweeping through the alfalfa field and we will sort through our sweep net findings to see if we find any larvae. Dump that out and then we begin the sorting process looking for larvae and as well as the presence of adults. But however, scouting is only triggered by the presence of larvae. Alfalfa is full of living insects including the adult weevils, other things that you may see as you go through include lacewings, uh, aphids, and the occasional uh, ligus bug as well. The larvae for alfalfa weevils can be quite small, especially the first instars, so look carefully to be able to find them. When larvae are found, it's time for a full-scale scouting to begin. For full-scale scouting, you will need to have a straight-sided bucket. Five-gallon bucket works great. Something sharp to cut stems of alfalfa when you're in the field. From there, you need to visit five locations in each field and there you're going to cut six stems at each location randomly selected and then you're going to put those into your bucket you can then beat those stems inside the bucket uh, to dislodge any alfalfa weevil larvae and then when you're done beating them around inside the bucket check to make sure you don't have anything tucked up into those leaves up in those new growing points and then you can count those alfalfa weevil larvae. Once you have counted those larvae then you can in turn calculate the average number of larvae per stem. Record this for use later. Now it's time to measure all of those 30 stems that you collected in the field and from those 30 stems you are going to calculate an average height or length on those stems that you collected. You can now use this information that you have gathered, the number of larvae, the number of stems, the average number of larvae per stem, and the average length of stem to compare that to a threshold table that you can find at cropwatch.unl.edu. You can search for alfalfa weevil.